There are three ways to create the list of materials for an e-order. I'll be demonstrating quick order in this video. Items can be added two ways. By entering the quantity and product code, I'll enter 250 and the product code. I'll use 590-50565. Click add item or you can look up an item. I'll enter the quantity click Part Lookup, use the filter menus to narrow the choices. I could choose color if I wanted to, but galvanized is fine. Click Search, find the item, highlight it, click Select, and Add Item. I'll add one more item. You can change the quantity of an item after you've added it. When you are finished adding the items, you have to enter a job name in order to get the prices. If you don't, the program pops up a message. The items marked S for stock are stocked at your local Merchants Metals Service Center subject to quantities on hand. The items marked NS for non-stock are typically not stocked at the local service center but which are readily available. The estimator will price out these items on your quote or order. The items marked CFQ for call for quote are non-regional or freight sensitive. The estimator will not return a price for these specific items you must contact your local service center for a quote on the CFQ items. The total price is for the items that did price. You can click back and make an adjustment if you need to. You can print a copy of the materials list for your records. When you click the printer icon, the program creates a PDF file. When you're ready, click the e-order button. Choose your order type, delivery or pickup, and your requested delivery or pickup date. If you choose delivery, you can change the shipping address. When you are ready, click the Submit button and a Merchants Metals representative will contact you to confirm your order.